everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we're taking a look at a Kershaw knife. Uh, this is the Kershaw Needs Work knife. And as you can tell by the name, this is a, a utility or work knife. Take a look at it here. It comes with a Kershaw pamphlet that explains about the Kershaw knives, the um, uh, Kershaw folding knives and, and how to work it, uh, sharpening, care and maintenance, uh, warranty, that kind of thing. Ships in a plastic sleeve with a little packet of desiccant to keep the knife dry. Good thinking there. This is the Needs Work. It's a flipper knife. It opens only with a spur here, which, which is the flipper. Bang. Just like that. That is as fast as can be. It is an assisted opening knife. And it just pops out just as easy and fast as you can imagine. Just like that. And for a work knife, that's just what you'd want. You've got, you've got one hand on your work, and you need a knife in the other. You reach down and grab it. There you go. You don't want to have to be fumbling with two hands to open your knife. There's the profile. Technical specs on that, that's a three-inch blade. It's hollow ground. It's made of the Sandvik 14C28N steel. Uh, that's a proprietary steel. It's steel that uh, Kershaw has partnered with Sandvik to make just for them. And it's, it's a, a formula that's designed to uh, have high corrosion resistance, high hardness, and good edge retention. Uh, just a good all-around performing steel. And of course that's what you'd want for a, for a work knife. The, uh, the handle is made of glass reinforced nylon. Overall, it's seven and one eighths inch, and it weighs three and a half ounces. It's a liner lock knife, and it does have steel liners. The knife does have a, a back spacer there, up until about a half an inch below the pivot, and then it is open, and that is to allow the, the dust and debris to move through the knife without collecting in there. The speed safe mechanism, which is the assisted opening mechanism, uh, is, a, is a coil spring at the pivot. Kershaw uses different types of um, uh, opening mechanisms in their assisted openers. They, they, they have the torsion rod that is a, a piece of spring steel that, that comes out and that sticks in the knife inside the handle about this like this. Uh, but that's not the case here. Uh, this is a, a coil spring in the pivot which provides a real decent snap. And, and there, is no, there are no thumb studs on the knife. That, that flipper is, is the one and only way of opening the knife. Just, that's all you need. Well, I, I suppose you could open it with two hands if you wanted. I mean, you could, the other way of opening it would be like that. But, that would be the less common way. Just go like that. It's a good, stout, sturdy little knife, and that's what it's meant to be. Uh, you know, the name needs work. It's it's a work knife. It needs work. Uh, it's great for obviously boxes or or any kind of you know utility cutting and ripping and that kind of thing. It's got a a really really sharp point there. It it narrows at the tip, so it's got it's got a really sharp piercing tip there. You can see that. But it's, it's still a good strong blade. It's got a flat spot here at the top, so if you're using a clamp system you can resharpen this real easy. You can see the, the handle does have these, these finger grooves here, so you can get a good grip on that and, and that's not coming out of your hand. And it does have jimping here on the top. Give you a shot on that. 
there's some there's your jimping there at the top for your thumb and you can hold it that way or if you're really really work you know pushing you can advance your thumb a little further on the blade to really get the pressure down on the point that way so that'll work like that or if you wanted you could you can also you know do the the index finger maneuver like that you know like that maybe for maybe you've got better control that way if you want or hold it this way or or really really get on it like that it'll hold in the reverse as well no problem there it's a good maneuverable knife and it, it feels solid in the hand it does come with a lanyard hole and depending on what kind of work you're doing you might I might recommend that uh, in my hand the the pinky is just just getting onto it there in a larger hand it, it might be it might be like that but in, I've got a average size hand at least and I'm I've got a full grip on it there it's got a uh, a pocket clip on it which is removable but not reversible or anything uh, it doesn't swap up or down or left or right but you can remove it if you want it's a, a wide one but you know that's that's for a reason you know I mean that's for like clipping on a Carhartt jacket or uh, you know overalls or something like that the knife does have a texturing on the handle here for traction you know the, the, these circles here uh, also provide additional grip features see that There's that backspacer. Liner lock does have jimping on it. The knife is uh, made in the USA. And it's got a really business-minded sheep's foot blade. You can see, you can just see how that would cut. And the angle of that blade to the handle is, is almost, almost like a kitchen knife. I mean, you can see the kitchen knife influence uh, the, of, of Kershaw knives. Uh, as you know, they, they, they do make a, some very high-end famous kitchen knives. And you can see how that holds your hand up here, yet the blade is still perpendicular to the surface. And so it's, it's you know, got a good, you can ch really chomp down and get those chunk cuts that's a that's a great little worker three and a half ounces so it's not not too heavy glass reinforced nylon handle lasts forever super great opening razor sharp Yeah, that's a great little knife. That's the Kershaw Needs Work. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.